Hello YouTube. It's, it is uh, September 14th, which means 9-11 was over this past week, which is uh, some sort of uh, negative connotations around that day. But at the same time, 9-11, September 11th, 2019, was the uh, six-month mark since my medial sesamoidectomy on the right foot. And the last time I updated you guys, it was maybe a couple months ago at this point. Um, yeah, time kind of goes a little bit fast. <laughs> um, I was talking about um, the pain in my, in my, the ball of my foot and the tenderness, some nerve pain um, that kind of goes hand in hand, and also uh, how the, the PA, physician's assistant, told me that it looked like my toe could be drifting a little bit. Um, so, you know, the, my big toe was kind of moving towards my little toes, and um, that is a, apparently a common symptom, um, like a post-operative symptom of uh, a result, uh, inadvertent result of um, sesamoidectomy surgery, especially for the medial one. Um, what happens is basically the the sesamoid bone really functions as a pulley for the tendons that control and the positioning and movement of the toes, uh, especially the big toe in this particular circumstance. And um, once that's gone, the tendons are just kind of loose, and so they're kind of having to reprogram themselves and readjust, and that can lead to some unfortunate drifting. Um, I don't know if that's really happened to me. One doctor said it looked kind of like it was. The actual surgeon said it's just so minute he couldn't see anything on the x-ray. And so what the PA suggested was that I get these toe spacers. See that there. Um, to kind of keep my big toe away from the little toes uh, and keep it straight. And it's, I, I bought some, obviously, and um, they're kind of comfortable. Here's what they kind of look like. Um, in fact, I'll just show what it looks like on my toe. Um, that's what it kind of looks like, just kind of um, pushing that big toe back to where it's supposed to be. And uh, so that's kind of what's going on right now. The only issue is they kind of rip out on you. A little bit so I don't know if I need to maybe change what brand I'm using or try a different size I'm not sure I returned uh, some to Amazon and they sent me some replacements and that's kind of what I'm using now but overall you know I'm really at you know 85 to 90 percent no pain which is amazing. And we are kind of moving into that window of time. They said about six months on is really when I'm supposed to start feeling like totally normal. And uh, there's, there's something to what they said, you know, it's, it's, I'm, I only feel a little bit of discomfort when I'm kind of putting a lot of pressure on the ball on my foot, especially if I'm walking up a hill. If I'm walking on a flat surface, you know, even if I'm flexing my foot, it doesn't really hurt. So, I'd say that uh, so far, I guess that that kind of makes it a success. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how everything has, has shaken out so far. Uh, I don't actually don't even have any more appointments with the the practice that that did the surgery. They said just I'm basically recovered at this point, and there's you know you know any lingering effects will be. Um, will kind of just dissipate over the next, you know, six months to a year from maybe a month ago. So, I don't know, you know, we'll see where I'm at in maybe a few months. And, you know, I think this surgery has been a great success for me. It was a great decision. Um, some other people on YouTube kind of had regrets about it. Um, you know, everybody's circumstances is a little bit different. This is kind of not a very common surgery to get. Uh, for me, I think it worked out. Um, so, of course, I have some hardcore drifting and developed bunions, but we'll see what happens. So, uh, thank you so much for watching this series. Uh, it's not really over. I guess I'll probably shoot some more videos later on, you know, in the next few months. You know, just kind of updates where I am, where I'm at. But, uh, you know, my pain level has just been dissipating, and um, I'd say that overall I'm, I'm feeling a lot better. 
able to move a lot more and um, I'm just happier, healthier and almost pain free. So I'm glad I got this surgery and we're going to keep working with these weird little toe spacers and hopefully everything will continue to get better. So thanks again. Cheers.